In this video, we're going to learn how to download and transfer tools such as the stopwatch tool and simulations or bell ringers to the TI Inspire CX CAS calculator. We're going to start by going to the TI website education.ti.com and when we get to the website you'll want to look at this tab for activities. Click on Science Inspired when we get to Science Inspired, you'll see categories for Life Science, Earth Science, Physical Science, these tend to be middle school, Biology, Chemistry, Physics tend to be high school, Forensics and STEM are integrated. Let's just click on Life Science and then Skills of Science. When we look at Skills of Science, you'll see that there are various files available for download. Some can be used on the teacher software, some directly on the handhelds. I want you to scroll all the way down to the tools. There's a tool for chemical balancing, a tool for significant figures, the stopwatch tool, and unit conversion. For this exercise, we'll select the stopwatch tool. Come over here to the right and hit download, and you'll see that the folder is going to download, and I can view that in my downloads file. I also want you to come back up and look at some of the simulations or bell ringers. If I click on Cells and Heredity, for example, I can take a look at maybe Mendelian Genetics. And in Mendelian Genetics, I have a bell ringer. And then I also have an activity here that can be downloaded as a simulation to the student handheld. This one's on Punnett Squares, and it looks like students would be able to manipulate data and create their Punnett Squares moving through the pages of the simulation. So I'm going to download that. And again, it will appear in my Downloads folder. On my computer, if I go to my Downloads folder, you'll see these files come in as zip files. If I open the zip file, you'll notice that there's a TNS for the stopwatch tool, a Word document, and PDF. You want to drag the TNS file from the zip folder to your desktop. This way you'll be able to access it for the transfer. Back in my downloads folder, I'm going to look at the second zip file and open that up. And you'll see again I have a PDF for Punnett Square, a Word, and here's my TNS file, the blue one, for Punnett Square. Transfer it to the desktop, move those things out of your way. Open up your teacher software. And when you open up the teacher software, you'll see two tabs up here, Content and Documents. You want to be in the Content tab, and that's where you can see the content on your computer, or you can link directly out to the TI website. If I click on Desktop here, I'll notice the two TNS files that I just put on my desktop, Punnett Square and Stopwatch. The next thing I need to do is connect my teacher docking station with the student handhelds. When I connect that to my computer, I see all of the student handhelds show up here in the left hand pane. I can look at information on any of the handhelds, for example this one that says TI Inspire CX Cast Kathy 2014, if I look at that, I can see all the different files that are already on this handheld. I can also check for update status. Oftentimes you'll get a yellow triangle with an exclamation point indicating that the handheld needs a software update. We showed that in a previous video. The other thing you can do here is I can right click on one of the handhelds and if I click on identify selected handheld in the lab cradle, if I click on that I'll get a blinking light in the teacher docking station telling me which calculator this is. The right click option also allows me to rename or update software on individual handhelds. But what we're going to do now is we're going to again back to our desktop, find the two files that we want to transfer, and we can do this one of two ways. If I take the stopwatch file and I just drag it over here and hold it over the handheld, this is the docking station, and release, it opens up the transfer tool for me. I see my file, stopwatch, TNS, 
and I want to now start the transfer. When I start the transfer, you saw how quickly to eight calculators that transfer was able to occur. I click stop transfer and it just gives a minute for the calculators to accept the software. That's one way to do the transfer. The other way to do the transfer is to look up here in the tabs, select tools, transfer tool. From the transfer tool, I want to add to the transfer list. I'm going to add Punnett squares, select, and start the transfer. Once again, when your um, timing bar disappears, you can stop the transfer. Yes. Please wait while it stops. And now that software should have successfully transferred to these calculators. I can click on one of the calculators and I can then take a look over here and see if my transfer was successful. The software automatically wants to just put things in a folder called transfers the date that you made the transfer. So if I open this up, I can see that my Punnett Squares has transferred and Stopwatch has transferred. And earlier today, I transferred the unit conversion. I'm also able to rename that folder if I would like to do that and call it tools. There's now a folder for tools. And when I open that up, here are the different tools that I have accessible on that calculator.